Ladies and gentlemen, the ship has reached the shore. Celebrations at the UN. After 15 years of negotiations, its ambassador for oceans announces a deal. The UN High Seas Treaty will designate 30% of the world's oceans as protected areas by 2030. Fishing and shipping lanes will be restricted and more funding provided for marine conservation. And this is a treaty no one knew was really going to land and last night it did. And that's a testament to really, really hard work by very dedicated individuals over an unprecedented uh, session, this final one that went over 48 hours. So that's one I, I just want to celebrate. And there's sure there's hard work ahead, uh, an unclear path. There'll be speed bumps, but uh, we've just had a really big win. Only 1% of the world's international waters is currently protected. Most marine life is threatened by climate change, overfishing and shipping. Activists describe this agreement as a breakthrough and a sign that in a divided world, protecting nature can triumph over geopolitics. This is an enormously important outcome for, for the world. It provides an opportunity for us to uh, better manage and, and regulate environmentally harmful activities in the nearly half of the planet uh, that, that falls beyond national jurisdiction, um, the, the high seas. This has implications for, for all of us all around the world. The treaty will now be studied by lawyers and translated into the UN's six official languages before being formally adopted. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.